Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to enhance a voice in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, if you'd like to enhance a voice with a drag and drop feature, then go ahead and check out my brand new Adobe Premiere Pro presets available at mrc.fm forward slash presets. And you'll see they're available easily in the effects view, presets, MRC Premiere Pro presets, lots of different presets for different microphones, for different filming situations and fun vocal effects too. mrc.fm forward slash presets. But now let's get stuck into this audio here. For the first time ever, I'm really pleased to announce my Adobe Premiere Pro audio presets. And as you can see, uh, well, and here, the voice is not that loud. So first of all, I'm going to hit G on my keyboard and I'm going to normalize the max peak to zero so that this audio is at least louder. For the first time ever, I'm really pleased to announce. And now you can hear the audio. It's not too bad. It's actually filmed on a condenser mic, as you may be able to see and hear as well. Uh, so it's already we're starting with good quality audio, but we can do some more to this. And in this video, I'm going to show you the essential sound panel inside Premiere Pro. It's really cool. Access it by looking for the audio workspace, clicking it, you get a nice little mixer here. Uh, still, you've got your clips all over there up the top left. And over here, we can assign that this is dialogue in this instance, and it gives us a ton of effects. First of all, loudness is already done. It's auto matched uh, and it can be auto matched to your loudness standard. So if you need to hit a standard of minus 23 luffs or minus 16 luffs for internet streaming, that's all done automatically in the first bit. You've got repair here, so you can enhance uh, the sound of the voice. Uh, if you've got any noise, rumble, any hum going on, that can be done in the repair thing. But the part I'm really going to focus on in this video is the clarity box, uh, which is really cool. Uh, so let's look at clarity. We've got dynamics, EQ, and enhance speech. Three options we're going to go through in this video. So with dynamics, if I enable it, let's bring it all the way down to natural. The more I pull that over to focus, the more it's going to level out my voice and make it sound better, enhance it essentially. Let's play. For the first time ever, I'm really pleased to announce my Adobe Premiere Pro audio presets. So there you go. As you can hear, as I'm pushing that up to sort of eight or so, it's uh, it's increasing the sound of my voice, making it clearer, more intelligible. Next, I might go to EQ and search for a preset. Background voice, definitely not a good one. Um, but you can go for subtle boost male or female or podcast voice, something like that. Even vocal presence uh, will roll off some of the bass that you don't need in the voice and increase some of the clarity end. Let's again push this up as I'm talking. First time ever, I'm really pleased to announce my Adobe. That one's a little bit crunchy, so I'm going to try podcast voice instead. That's uh, doing some of the low, mids, and the high end. Adobe Premiere Pro audio presets. That one's a lot better. I like the podcast voice preset. Subtle Boost Mail as well. For any filming situation. Just adding in EQ curves to my voice, and uh, well, the public radio sound might be a little bit too much. If you're working on video, <laughs> it does sound like I'm on the radio, doesn't it? Uh, so let's go back to podcast voice that I like the best. And finally, you've got enhanced speech here for male or female. Let's listen to that. First time ever, I'm really pleased to announce taking it off my Adobe Premiere Pro audio presets. And in that case, I feel it's a bit too much, probably because I filmed on a condenser microphone. It's over compressing my voice and dragging up some of the room noise and room echo. So I'll probably leave enhanced speech off in this case. But have a play. Audio workspace, essential sound over here. Clarity box is where you get all your tools to increase and enhance the clarity and um, sound of your voice in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let me know how you get on with it. And any questions you have at all, just post them in the comments down below.